combinations of functions. So remember that functions are just, well, the output, I should say, of functions are just real numbers. So we can divide, we can multiply, add, subtract functions. And I'm going to show you now how we do that. So I have two functions here, f of x equals x squared, g of x equals 3x minus 2. And it's really pretty easy. If you want to add two functions, you just add them. You take x squared. So in other words, f plus g of x is just f of x plus g of x. And f of x is x squared and g of x is 3x minus 2. So I just take x squared plus 3x minus 2. f minus g of x is f of x minus g of x. So now it's x squared minus g of x, which is 3x minus 2. And since I'm subtracting the entire function g of x, I need to distribute this negative. So simplified, this becomes x squared minus 3x plus 2, because when I take the negative of negative 2, I get a positive 2. f g of x is defined to be f of x times g of x. And so I'm going to take f of x, which is x squared, and multiply it by 3x minus 2. And when I distribute the x squared, I get x squared times 3x, which is 3x cubed, and minus 2x squared. Finally, we have f over g of x. And that's just f of x divided by g of x. And we have to require at the same time that we do this that g of x is not equal to 0 because now g of x is in the denominator. And so we don't want g of x equaling 0. So we take our function f of x, which is x squared, and divide it by 3x minus 2. And this is going to be true for all x except x equal to negative 2 thirds. I'm sorry, 2 thirds. 3 times 2 thirds is 2, and then we subtract 2, so x cannot equal 2 thirds. And that's how we do combinations of functions.